Hi again, I'm Dr. Dan Gartenberg, and the last time we identified that I was having some issues with my breathing at night using a consumer wearable. So the next step is to see if I actually have sleep apnea, which would be a little bit uh, of an ironic thing coming from someone like me who has studied his sleep for a long time. Recently, as you may have um, heard from me before, I gained some weight over quarantine and I identified that there were some issues with my breathing. Uh, so now I purchased a, cons a FDA approved device called Wesper, which can be used to actually get yourself diagnosed for sleep apnea from the comfort of your home. So this is really important uh, to get an actual diagnosis so you can get treated and insurance will be able to pay for that once you get a diagnosis. And so I'm trying this Wesper system. It's a very affordable tool. It includes a uh, pulse oximeter that you put on your thumb like that and these two stickers uh, one goes just above your belly button and the other goes just below your left nipple. And if you track for three days, you can then get diagnosed for sleep apnea from the comfort of your home. Um, tracking on the system is very affordable. It's only about, it's only $79 to be able to see how you're breathing throughout the night. Um, and then there's other steps that you can do to actually get diagnosed by a doctor using this system. So as you see here, this is an image of what it looks like. It's also really an innovative technology because you can recharge this device such that you can see how your breathing is improving based on various interventions. You know, the recommended gold standard is CPAP, but for also some um, moderate to mild cases, a device that your dentist can develop for you um, called an MAD can also be appropriate. Uh, sometimes others, uh, there's a, a third solution, a recent solution called Inspire as well, which is an, actually an implant that you can get. So I identified that I might have some breathing issues. Now as a sleep scientist, the next step is to actually use an FDA clear device to see what's going on here and get my data analyzed by a doctor. So when we Look, take a look at my data from the first night. I am confirming that I definitely did have some breathing issues throughout the night. So this line is where healthy breathing quality would be. And this is detecting that I had 71 breathing inconsistencies over the course of the night. So again, this is suggesting that I do actually have a problem with um, not breathing throughout the night, which is really bad for your cardiovascular system, highly linked to hypertension. And so this is something that I really need to address myself, and I hope I can motivate others to address this issue as well. Um, you'll see the pulse oxygenation here numbers. You know, 93% seems good, but you see these dips here. These are indicative, when you have these abrupt dips in this high resolution sensor here, it's really suggesting that I'm not breathing for a period of time throughout the night. So I'm gonna continue tracking for three to f three nights and we'll see if this pattern continues and then I'm gonna get evaluated by a doctor and, and, and you'll follow me along on this journey for me treating my own sleep apnea. So uh, check out the next video where we'll see what happened the next night.